I think there will be some change. I think you can't have you know a decision like that with with no change coming. So I think there there will be changes. But again, I think it feeds back to what the true impact is going to be with with Brexit. And then there will be some new. There may be some legislation changes around that. Um, how we're trading between you know the European countries, but that will come with all different. All businesses will have the same. All businesses will have the same impact. And data centers are a pan-European business like like many others. Um, I've got you know a, a number of friends working in large contracting practices. They're waiting for the changes. They're trying to implement what they think may happen right now um, because they've got businesses being built across Europe. So they're in the middle of them. What the impact that's going to have in the next three to five years. Some of these projects are you know, five or six year builds. So they're trying to put provisions in place, but we don't really know what those provisions are going to be right now. So again, I think it's just going to be waiting to find out what happens with the government, what happens with legislation, what really is the true impact on Brexit, and then we'll see. Because um, in the past, we have seen a lot of new government legislation coming in, you know, specifically for data centers, you know, years ago around green, what we're going to do with our energy consumption. And, you know, we, we've adapted into that just as, as any normal business would. So it's more of a, it's more of an adaption. And, you know, as as technology grows, you know, as more data centers come online, there there will be changes. We know that, and we just do what we can to you know to adhere to those and uh, make it work. <laughs>